David, uh, when did you first learn that City um, were interested in bringing you to Manchester? It was the winter break and football had stopped in Italy. Uh, I hadn't been featuring in the side, I'd not been uh, in the first team for a while and um, Roberto's backroom staff were aware of this. We had a nice chat about the possibility and um, I didn't think he'd actually come to, to this, but here I am now. The deal happened quite late. Um, is, is your head spinning a little bit with um, everything that's happened? Yeah, it was, it was really last minute, you're absolutely right. It was, it was very, very quick at the end when it finally came to fruition. There, were, there had been some talk of interest from uh, Juventus, but uh, it, it was just that, just talk. So when this real interest and, and, and contact was made, personal contact mate was made with me, that's when things really started to move super quick and uh, it was almost people were working feverishly under pressure to, to, to get it through at the last minute, but uh, it did and here I am. Uh, have you had an ambition to play in England uh, throughout your career? And if you had, did you ever think it would actually happen? La verdad que estoy estuve muy muy ligado al al fútbol italiano. Yes, to tell you the truth, I feel very, very close to Italy. Um, when you think that I went there at the age of 19, uh, most of my career has been spent there with various clubs, and I never thought that I'd be changing countries and cultures. But for me, um, it's something which will be a real positive and a real help to my career. Pero seguramente una aventura importante y que me que me va a ayudar mucho. And has Roberto spoken to you in the last few days and um, told you what your role will be at City? Bueno, ahora. No, I've not had the chance to speak with Roberto um, since I've been here, but certainly I think pretty soon we'll be uh, having a chat about what exactly my role will consist of and, and what work he wants me to do for the club. This isn't a test, but what do you know about Manchester City, the, the history, supporters? Is there anything that you already know prior to your arrival? <laughs> bueno, sé que, que se ha invertido mucho, mucho dinero en este, en este equipo. I'm aware of the huge investment made in the squad and also that it's been quite a while since the league title was won. Also, uh, the period that Inter Milan started winning trophies again coincided with uh, Roberto's arrival at the club. So let's hope that history repeats itself in that case. David, what players are you looking forward to playing with? Um, obviously, there's some fantastic talent. There's uh, David Silva, for instance, Yaya Torre, all these great players, Aguero. And what can you bring to the team? What are your strengths? Yes, all those players that you mentioned, they're all great players and their recent career and achievements uh, just go to prove that. For me, I like to play good football, I like to play the ball around, and I think um, that, combined with the qualities of the players that you've mentioned and how they express themselves on the park, will be a positive mix. La posibilidad de, de exprimir un, un, gran, un gran football. It's a, a big compliment that um, Roberto wants you to be in the what we hope is the title running when the team could create history, and you could create a little bit of history and be part of that. Um, how do you feel about that? Bueno, para nosotros creo que para cada jugador es importante la la importancia que te pueda dar un técnico, ya que nuestra carrera. I think that um, as a player, your, your career is defined by what, what, what a manager or a series of managers thinks about you, yeah. And so I think it's it's nice that that uh, the manager's shown confidence in me and bringing me here. And yeah, it's a great opportunity to use your words there to to create history almost, and to be a part of this club's history. And that's my aim, you know. My aim is to help, uh, to really try and help uh, the squad uh, and the team to achieve um, the target, the objective, which is of course to win the league title after such a long period without it. And David, how are you going to feel playing in the sky blue of Lazio for Manchester City? They're, they're traditional rivals, aren't they? La verdad que recibió muchas bromas. Yeah, you spot on there. I've, I've, I've had lots of uh, stick already and banter about the fact I'm going to be wearing Lazio's colours from everybody back in Rome. You've taken the number eight shirt, I believe, um, which was the shirt worn by one of our greatest players. So no pressure on you. 
Colin Bell. <laughs> now, obviously, it's a, it's a big honour to, to, to have that number, but I can look back uh, when I started my time at Roma and a similar situation there. There was a, a kind of a legend, if you like, uh, Bruno Conti, and I wore his number seven shirt. So, you know, things turned out quite nicely there. Let's hope they turn out as, as, as positively here as well. And you're the first um, person from uh, Chile to play for City as well. So do you feel you're representing your country by signing for City? Um, no, I think uh, it's, it's important that you mention that because we're a small, fairly small country with only 7 million population. So I think um, for any uh, Chilean playing abroad, it's a, it comes with a certain amount of responsibility. You know, our, our marketplace for footballers is totally different to that of, say, Brazil uh, or Argentina. So, you know, you don't tend to see as many Chileans abroad. So, yeah, I take, I take it really, really seriously, that role, and I think that uh, it is important. And, and as I say, I hope, uh, hope it works as well as it has done in the previous clubs where I've been playing. Your fitness, uh, David, could you play this weekend if need be? Estoy a disposición. Yes, I'm fit and ready and available for selection by the manager. Uh, good luck in your career at City and um, I'm sure it'll help us to go on and win the title. Bueno, eh, esperar de que... Well, that's, that's great, thank you. And uh, I arrived yesterday um, with City at the top of the league. They still are and let's hope that I finish the season uh, with City in that same place.